I'm Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how you can use a MIDI keyboard hooked up to a MIDI interface to make an MP3. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this. The first is have a keyboard that has a MIDI out through USB. Once you have that, it's simply you plug it in and you're good to go. But we don't have one of those here today. Today, we have a MIDI out cable connector. And to do that, we need an interface like this one. Next, we're going to need a MIDI keyboard. Like this one. Simply take your MIDI cable, like so, plug it into the MIDI out. Make sure your interface is on. And then we're going to pop over to the Mac, and I'll show you how to set it up from there. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you've got GarageBand open up here. In this case, we've already pre-opened it up here, and we've got a piano track here. To make sure that it's properly talking to the MIDI interface, we're going to go up here to GarageBand. We're going to go to Preferences. Then we're going to go to Audio MIDI, which it's already selected on. Your audio output here should read system setting, but for this example purposes and this recording, we're using this here. Your audio input should say whatever the name brand is of your interface. In this case, it's a Sapphire Focusrite Pro 24. So we're going to make sure that that's selected here, and it is indeed selected. Once that has been selected, you need to go to another application. Go ahead and go back to the desktop here. Go up to Go, then go down to Utilities. Go ahead and find Audio MIDI Setup located here. Go ahead and open it. And it should open up to this screen here named Audio Devices. This is a list of all of the different audio devices that are connected to your Mac. We're going to go ahead and locate our interface, which is Sapphire here, as dictated by the FireWire icon. Go ahead and make sure that that's selected. And go up to Window. And go Show MIDI Window. And that's going to bring up this window. And you'll see here this ME25, which is actually our model designation for our Sapphire, and it's got literally some digital cables going down to something that it's also labeled ME25, but it's got a MIDI keyboard logo here. Go ahead and make sure that this arrow here is pressed down, and then we're going to click Test Setup here. And if all goes according to plan, we'll be able to hit a key on our keyboard, and the screen in MIDI Studio will flash just like that. Once you've done that, go ahead and exit out of Audio MIDI Setup. Back into GarageBand, close your preference. Now, once you're in GarageBand, you should be able to hit the keys on your keyboard. There you go. Now all you need to do is hit record and play something. I'm not very good, but there it is. Go ahead and stop the recording, and you'll notice the bars have appeared in the green up here. That indicates that those notes have been recorded. Now, all you need to do to share it to an MP3 or an iTunes compatible format, let's go up to the share button here. Hit export song to disk. Go ahead and choose your format. Go ahead and select MP3. We're going to select audio settings here. And we're just going to click good quality. Go ahead and hit export. Title your song, and then hit save. And 
notice how it popped on the desktop here. Go ahead and open it up. In this case, it's going to open up in QuickTime. Go ahead and hit play. And that's enough of that. And that's all there is to it. And that's how you make an MP3 using a MIDI keyboard hooked to a MIDI interface on your Mac. Hope that helps you out, and thanks for watching.